Hey there everyone, Clifton here with Clifton Creative Academy and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create pages in bulk. Basically you're going to create all the pages for your website in one fell swoop. Instead of the traditional way of creating each page one by one, you are basically going to be able to do it in one go. This is very easy to do and this is a nice trick that I like to use whenever I have a client or we have a project that has a ton of pages that we have to create. Okay, so here is a sample website. It currently just has the home page. There are no other pages. As you can see, there's no navigation. So in order to be able to create those pages, I'm going to show you how to do it in bulk. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we release new tutorials for WordPress and other great software tools. All right, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new. And we're going to be searching for a plugin called Bulk Pages. Just type in Bulk Pages, hit Enter, and you'll be presented with a host of different plugins. Okay, the one that you're looking for is this one here. It's called Bulk Page Creator. Go ahead and click on Install Now and Activate. Okay, so now we have our bulk page creator here. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the settings and over here you'll see bulk page creator. Click on the bulk page creator and you should know what the pages that you will need are. Now when you get here you'll see some pages that already exist on the website. We're going to create the remainder of these pages. So let's say I want to have an about page. Okay, I may have, want to have a pricing page. I may also want to have a contact page. Okay, then here is the uh, field for whether there's it's a parent of another page and you can even select the uh, template that you want to use. So if we want to use the Elementor full width template on this, we can go ahead and select that now. Click on add page and it'll show you all the pages that you've already created. This is also great if you want to create drop down pages. So let's say I want to have a careers page. And I want that to be a drop down of the about page. So I'm going to come here, select about, leave the template as is, and click add a page. And you'll notice it drops it in there right underneath the about page as a drop down tab. Okay. We're going to leave the create empty pages selection option, or you can set it with content. I like to leave it empty. And we're going to set the page status to publish. Go ahead and click update site. And once you've done that, and this is no longer hyperlinked, you can now see that those pages are created. So how do we know they've been created? Well, if you go to pages, all pages, we can see now that those pages are now created, even with the drop down page of the careers page as well. So now we can go ahead and successfully create a menu so that we can be able to see our pages from the front end. To create a menu, just go to appearance, menus, I have already have a main navigation menu created, but you can create additional menus if you want. I'm going to click on View All, and I'm going to select the pages that I want to add. Click on Add to Menu. And remember, we had this as a dropdown, so I'm just going to shift this over. OK, and I'm going to click Save. Now when we visit the front end of the website, you'll see that now we now have our pages created with the careers page as a drop down. If we visit the page, you will notice that these are full blown pages. Okay, they have no design on them right now. But as you design them, then they will become pages. All right, very easy to do. Okay, hopefully if you like this tutorial, please give us a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments that you feel below or any requests, and I do read those comments. And let me know if this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.